Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist, and in this, sh hopefully a short video, <clears throat> I'm just going to show you a way to uh, identify uh, common tree crickets in the genus Ocanthus, and uh, it'll be the first video util utilizing the video function on the microscope. So. Just gonna take a look here. I already went through and identified the tree crickets I have. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the microscope to video, and uh, we'll take a look at the uh, markings on the antenna, which uh, help uh, identify the species. I'm going to turn to the computer now. So, Ocanthus, common tree crickets, you've likely heard them. Whether you've actually seen them or not, I don't know. But this is their uh, bug guide page for the genus. You see, about 14 species in North America. Markings on the ventral surface of the first two antennal segments, so that's what we're going to look at underneath the microscope. And on the bud guide here, they actually have uh, actual pictures of the specimen, live specimens, with showing the markings on the antenna. Just to help a little uh, right there. And then this other page here on orsoc.org there we've got more information and more close up to uh, differences and a couple of the uh, genus uh, genus groups species groups that the nevaeus species group right there the Nagricornis, which is most of my specimens ended up in the Nagricornis species group. So I got a these I got these species for sure. And um, so I'm just gonna go ahead, show you the pattern, the markings on each species. Um and you'll notice that a couple of the species patterns are pretty similar. And what I did to help uh, differentiate those species was by the uh, location. Because um, most of my specimens are from Colorado and Arkansas. Um, I do have a couple from Wisconsin and Texas as well. But because one species parking is similar to the other, but it's in a state where the other one isn't found, that leads me to um, conclude that it's the other species. So there are going to be a couple species that have pretty uh, similar markings, but because they're different species, that's how I differentiate the species. It's like if you click on here, it'll go to the species page, and it has like the range maps and all that stuff. So I kind of use that to help me with that so yeah kind of a quick rundown um the rest of the video is just going to be showing you the representative species and the markings that i looked at all right so the first uh species we're going to look at is uh, Argentinus and this part of the video there'll be some blurry things but you can see there right on the base of the first antennal segment there and then the second one that's kind of, that's the markings I looked at for this species and 
And then based on the collection locality and the range maps, that's how I came to Argentinus. Next is Forbesii. You can see the markings there. We have a little bit of glare coming from the light, but. So the Argentinus one I showed you was collected in Texas. This uh, specimen was from Wisconsin. Here is a Nevaeus. Uh, this one is from Arkansas. This was the easiest one to identify from all of them. Pretty telltale signs with the antennal markings there. Nice and simple, so that was easy enough. Next we have Solarinectus. You can see the on the first segment there the markings are a little bit more thinner. That led me to that species more than the other ones. And this one was also collected in Arkansas. And next is Quadrupunta penis. Oh, I'm sorry, Quadrupuntatus. Uh, I cut, uh, this is the most numerous species I have. Tree cricket wise. And the line and the dot is not like a smear, it's just like more of a round circle. And then the second segment there is a lot more clean as well. So pretty much everything, all, all the ones with the first segment with the like the second part there, instead of like a long smudge looking one, if it was like that dot more uh, complete circle, um, I put them as uh, quadrupuntatus. Yes, so that's going to be the end of uh, that video. Short. Oh, I guess I'll show you the Californicus one. Kind of hard to see, but there is a line there. This one is from Colorado. So this was just a quick video on how I went through and ident identified the acanthus. Uh, I did hope you enjoy. I hope, uh, I think I'll try and do more videos with the microscope hopefully. So uh, comment, like, subscribe, and the uh, link for Patreon is in the description. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.